Good morning, welcome to 59 Minutes. My name is Levi Kones. Every now and then we try to bring somebody who motivates, inspires, you know, and generally gives us that little boost of encouragement that we need in life. This particular morning we are speaking to Mr. John Akirich. He is a motivational speaker. He's a renowned uh, motivational speaker, if I may add. He's a mentor, an educator, and a writer. He's written the book called Breaking the Glass Ceiling. It's a student's guide to educational success. And we talk about, to talk about that book, also talk about, you know, the kind of stuff that students go through and how we can motivate them. So join me in welcoming Mr. John Akirich. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Karibu sana. Glad to have you here. It's my pleasure. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about yourself, other than the things I have uh, expounded. You're a writer, motivational speaker. What else are you? Jonah uh, Karich, of course that is my name. I'm a student of life. Mm -hmm. This person comes from Mazingisho County mm -hmm. in Eldoret. I'm a teacher by profession. Yeah. I teach English and literature mm -hmm. at UGI School, Mazingisho High School. I teach English and literature, as mm -hmm. I was said, but my passion is writing, mm -hmm. authorship, and speaking. And speaking. Yes. Tell <laughs> me about this book and uh, why the book? You know, what led to it? Um, this book gets back to 2015. When I thought, that is when I was in first year at Kenyatta University, I realized that I had an hidden talent in writing. And that's the time I thought that at least, despite being a, a teacher, training, a student. How do you, how do you realize else? you have a hidden talent? <laughs> were you writing letters to people? And they were like, eh? what was going on? Um, <laughs> back to high school, yeah. I was a good student of English. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I realized that despite being a teacher, at least I can still do something else. Mm -hmm. And I opted that it seems writing is good. And it's all about passion. Mm -hmm. Yes, I really wanted at least despite just going to class, there's something else that people can remind me or can remember me about. Yeah. People can, when we think about or when we talk about Jonah Carriage, there's something that is packaged with it. Not just the name, but something else. Yeah. Then writing came up. Writing came up. How long did it take you to write the book? Um, two years. Starting from 2015, where mm -hmm. I wrote just one chapter. And I missed, okay, I realized that the content came to an end. <laughs> I, I mm. went empty for some time. But I had to go researching too. At least what else could I have brought into the book? Yeah. Yes. So that was 2015. 2016, I went back writing because I was like, so what will I tell people? That I just wrote one chapter. That was the end of it. I proceeded writing. Uh, the first chapter that I was talking about challenges that we can take advantage of our challenges, that we experience each and every moment. At least these challenges should push us. Most of the time we realize that people, of course, we, each and every time we get and experience a lot of challenges in our lives. Mm -hmm. Yes. So to my mind, I was like, OK, how am I going to, to have this? OK, these challenges that I have, what am I going to tell people? Those people could be undergoing the same challenges. And for me, I just wanted to tell them that there is hope, that still, despite all this, you can still achieve. You can still make or take advantage of these challenges and transform them to be something better. Yeah. Yes. The, uh, so tell me, so you said you are targeting the yeah. student, because you say it's a student guide to educational services. Huh? Definitely. Why? As a teacher, uh, I've, right now I've taught for like six years. And most of my life after high school, I've interacted with students. And I've realized that students have a lot of challenges. As a teacher, students, OK, with their tender age, with their teenage, you realize that they undergo a lot in life. They're in, in experience at the same time. Yes. So from those experiences, and me personally, as a student, when I was a student in high school and primary, I got those experiences. And because of the experiences, I realized that I had a good knowledge to speak to these students. Mm -hmm. So I see your, your chapters. In fact, I was just going to look at them. They were very interesting, actually. Turning setbacks into better comebacks. Yes. Learning to let go. 
a monster called fear, mm -hmm. living a purpose-driven life, bloom where you are planted. Oh, yes. Unlock your potential. Yes. Value your education. Who mentors you? Be time sensitive and fight to leave a legacy. Okay, let me start with the chapter one because you have yes. 10 chapters. It seems like it's a quick, easy book to it's read. It's a quick read. It's only about uh, how many pages? Nine Less than 100, actually. Yes. And quite light. Slightly, eh? yes. <laughs> it, was there a reason for the size? Yes. Yes. Um, you realize that Levi, people no longer read so much. And people at times, they, they feel it's a young people. reading. Oh, young people, of <laughs> course. Now that you're talking about students. <laughs> Some of us are reading. You know, young people, there's a, there's a thing. Yeah. At a gazette, mm -hmm. is a problem. Yes. You know? Yes. So, and sometimes they even read a post on Facebook. They say, too long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you summarize. <laughs> <laughs> summarize. <laughs> I read your post yesterday. You did? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it was quite yeah. long, because, but because I, I, I like reading, I had to read up to the end. You had to read up to the end. <laughs> sure. You'd be surprised how many people don't read such things. True. Yes. It's a, it's a dying culture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, I agree with you that in terms of the size of the book. Mm -hmm. And if you're targeting a student. <laughs> yes. It's quite palatable, although mm -hmm. I think also in, to some degree, I think we then endorse that uh, aspect of, of, of the reading culture being forgotten mm -hmm. by providing shorter reads to students because mm -hmm. they don't want to read, <laughs> you know. Yes. In, in another way, I think maybe we are... We are too lenient? Yeah. <laughs> yes. You know, I keep telling people, you know, important things are in the are in the newspaper. Mm -hmm. if, if it's uh, uh, most, uh, well, not to bash radios, mm -hmm. but you know, uh, some people just hear, then some people just see. Then mm -hmm. the guys who are really moving the country. Oh, so gazette. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is why they say they will gazette something. Even if they make an order, they will gazette they must it. Gazette. Yeah. Yes. If it's in the paper, it's serious. Yeah. So tell me, turning setbacks into better comebacks, what's that about in a nutshell? In a nutshell, this dates back to my high school life. In 20, 2011, rather 2008, I did my KCPE. Mm -hmm. Doing my KCPE, I scored 321 marks. And that was... Uh, that was not good. Um, to you. <laughs> <laughs> but to me, it was a mileage, you know? <laughs> Yeah, you know those days getting three hundred yeah. was a success. You know people say when after you learn, I need to put When they up you up. So um, I so for you, but of, yeah, but if you are coming from a place where you are worse off, then I guess yeah. Yes, and don't don't forget that I was among the leading. <laughs> you among the leading. Yes. Oh wow. Uh, yes. Uh huh. So so that's to my schooling. I went to some good primary school mm -hmm. and scored three hundred and twenty one marks. Okay. Yes. And that's so, really remote. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's quite a trial for some boot from my school. Yes. One of the, these, uh, the days we should go there <laughs> and so do some mentorship. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So um, I did that and got 321. I was to join Kamagut High School. Mm. Yes. But at the same Kamagut is near my home. Not so far. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So with that, I realized that uh, I could not join the school that I was passionate to join and I that I had been called to join. Yes. But uh, at the same time, some two years ago my dad had undergone some uh, surgery. Wait, you were to join come a good but didn't. Is that what you're saying? I, yeah I know I didn't. You didn't? Yes. Oh. Yeah. So yeah, tell us about that challenge, yes. Yeah, so my dad uh, underwent some surgeries and um, financially we were a bit unable to raise uh, cash to go to high school. Then what was uh, 27,000? Of course, 27,000 by then might not have been that easy to raise. I still had a lot of money. Yes, still had a lot of money. So um, I had to join my barracks high school. As, uh, by then, the school was uh, coming up. We were the first group, actually, mm -hmm. that we joined. Uh, we were seven in number, and uh, by then I was an uh, okay. I was an index uh, later on, later on, but admission five. Mm -hmm. Yes, 
So yeah, pioneer. Founding <laughs> pioneers, fathers. the founding fathers. <laughs> yeah, so um, uh -huh. I joined the school, mm -hmm. being the first group. And uh, right now, I've forgiven myself. By then, you know, you have that mind like, of course, how can I make from this point? I was meant to be somewhere else, but now, <laughs> am I going to make it, you know? Mm -hmm. Yes, being the first school, you know, the challenges of starting a school, it's not, okay, it might not be established at first, it takes some time. Everything takes time to grow. Yes, so I, uh, I went to that school for four years. I did my case, CSE, scored C minors. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is quite interesting, <laughs> being index one. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, reason being, or even scoring that marks, to some point I can say that it is because I never had the settled mind mm -hmm. that that is where I was meant to produce grades. Mm -hmm. So... Were you happy with that grade when you scored it? I wasn't. I was not. And in fact, people who surrounded me were not happy because they expected the best. You know, you know, you know. Of course, in the village, when you tell people that when people know that you are index one, you are index performing. one. performing. Of course, everybody knew it. <laughs> yes. So um, I tell you, eh? Apa kuna mchezo wa mchezo? Kuna mchezo, and you know, <laughs> mm -hmm. it eats harder when um, people are joining university. Yeah. You know? People are being called to different universities, mm -hmm. and you don't have where to join. I tried even going shop, well, I can call it window shopping in some of the colleges, and I could not get a place, maybe I could do even a good diploma course. Yeah, but you see, see minus, if people had really passed, had they really passed in your year? Yes. Yeah, it then brings a challenge. It was a challenge. So, yeah. the only option was, I just made a decision that, let me go back to school. Let me go back to high school. That's a difficult one. Yes, it does. To redo. To redo. Yeah. And I could not qualify for Form 4. That was second term. So the only option was to, to, to go, go back to Form, to form three. 3. Mind you, then the set books had been changed. <laughs> so you're starting afresh. Oh, wow. But now this time you are learning. OK, you are getting back to school with a lot of lessons. Yeah. And of course, you have more objectives that you have to achieve it. There's yeah. no option. And you're you, now the Mubaba. Yes, you can imagine. You're <laughs> You can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> but then yeah, I was <laughs> in high school. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, it's now you. Uh -huh. Yes. So you can imagine you are getting back to school. Yeah. And you are meeting those people who are in form two when you are in form four. You know, that seniority yeah. getting to be a junior. Did you go to? Did you go to the same school though? I didn't. Yeah. yeah well. Yeah. So I realized that the only option that I was going to do, I was to look for at least another school. Yeah. At that point, I tell, tried... Tell me about the mental framework when you, when you repeat and you join a school. Yeah. Because I think rumors go around. Very soon they know yeah, they, they repeat it. Yes. I don't know who, who says. You know, but, but <laughs> humanity is funny. Yeah. People will always try to ensure that those informations normally leak so fast. Yeah, they leak so fast. <laughs> yeah, yes. You, you arrive today and by Kesho, guys are like, ah, Joe, yeah, this guy, I'm going to you know. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, How so it like um, I realized that my objective by then was to get to pass and go to the university. Mm. Yes, where I come from, success comes from joining the university. Mm. Yes, people will see you're yeah. making it. But tell me about the mental uh, trauma of you being a repeater and yeah. people knowing that. How mm -hmm. was that like for you? It was not easy because I had, uh, at some point I lost my friends the, uh, by then who were so close to me. You know, people doesn't want to associate with somebody who has failed. Yeah. And they could refer me as a failure in life. Mind you, even relatives might think that you are a failure. They feel you have wasted your resources, their resources actually rather. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it was not easy, but my perception was it doesn't matter what people will say. What matters is they'll celebrate with me after I've made or I've excelled yeah. the way they expected. So you go through Form 3, you finish Form, form three. 3, you're now going yes. to, into Form 4. Into form are you confident four. going into Form 4 that things are going to be different? Um, then, having went through that Form 3 for two terms, I build confidence. And at least I was now raising, I could get the minuses. And I was feeling that indeed mm -hmm. something is coming. But I've no, I, I've not, I was not able then to 
even get a grade that people okay by then uh, people are getting to the university with a b, b stand mm -hmm. yes so i realized that so i still bado still bado bado, bado. <laughs> yes so but i knew that the only option is put more effort mm -hmm. yes so um i went i joined form four with a lot of confidence because there was no option you just have to make it and at the same time, I had to, to sort into some farming to mm. raise some fee. So when you joined yes. uh, Form 4 mm -hmm. and then uh, get through it, take us now to, 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 to the end. You do your KCSC, mm. then what happens? The second KCSC or the first one? The second one. This time. Oh, the second one. Yeah. Yes. For that period of one year, it was so not easy. Uh -huh. <laughs> the form point was able to get a B plus at the end of the day. You got a B plus. Did you, were you expecting the B plus? Of course. At the end of the day, I was like, I'm going to make it. There was no option. By there, I had set even my, uh, my targets. Mm. And surprisingly, I got, I scored what I had set. Except so you biology. get a B plus. How was the village <laughs> treating you there now? Of course, the mindset was uh, the mindset was changing <laughs> because they were seeing. Indeed, this is what you could you could have gotten. Mm. You wasted yourself for those two years, but for me, I, was, I knew these two years were the years that made a turnaround in my life. Yes. So even the writing of the book came came by then came with the, those the experiences of the two years. Yes. The well, struggles that I went turning through. Turning setbacks into better comebacks. Better comebacks. Yeah. So now you went to university. Kenyatta University. And here you are, a Molimu. You know what surprises me, eh? Yes. Sometimes, you know, young people are so concerned about uh, uh, repeating. I had a brother who didn't mm. do very well. And when we were talking to him, uh -huh. <laughs> he's going to hate me talking <laughs> about him on TV. <laughs> and when we were talking, when we were telling him, uh, yeah. but I was telling him something, and which is really true, even when I see you here. Yeah. You know, until you tell your story, mm. we don't know. We don't know your story. Out here, you could have repeated <laughs> 500 times. Yes. But as long as you're working, people see me on TV, they don't know. Maybe I repeated they plus six, plus seven, <laughs> plus nine. You know, yes. you are, you, these things, they get washed up mm. over time. Over time. And success has a way of camouflaging all the prior mistakes. True. I mean, say you're in Walimu. Unless Nobody even can students, remember the story. <laughs> but you went back to Form 3, they can never know that. They cannot. <laughs> they, they normally say success normally is attached to so many relatives. Yeah. You become a relative to somebody when you, you are a successful person. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that's when things start working out. Yeah. I want to come back and talk more about that. Looks like we're already at the break. Mm. Wow. Uh, such few times. We are speaking to Jonah Kerich. He's an author of the book, Breaking the Glass Ceiling. It's a student's guide to educational success. Every student should have one. Let's come back after these messages.